I am a story man, I traveled far and wide in my suitcase full of stories sleeping at my side and I'd like to take you on a trip in a boat that floats downstream cause soon I'll open up the lid of my suitcase full of dreams everywhere you go stop and say hello to the bees and the birds in the trees Come and gather round a story I have found. Are you sitting comfortably? Are you? About? <laughs> so yes, I am a story man. I traveled far and wide with my suitcase full of stories, yes, sleeping at my side. And I'd like to take you on a trip in a boat that floats downstream. Soon I'll open up the lid of my suitcase full of dreams. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning again. So, yes, so my name is Rob. 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 Rob, that's right. And I'm, can you see that, Craig? Sure. Yeah. Move that out of the way. There. And that's my hat stand now. Yes. And, yes, my name's Rob, and I am a storyteller, and I've got lots. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> I've got lots of stories in my story suitcase. This, this is my story suitcase. It's a bit now, small. You may not believe it because it's not a very big suitcase, but I've actually got an extension. Hundreds of <laughs> stories in here. So let me open up the suitcase. See what story I'm going to tell you today. Let's have a look. <laughs> He's barming mad. I think I know what story it is. It's, it's about a sheep. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> yeah. I've remembered what story it is. It's called. <laughs> That's right, Craig. Do you want to say it again? Tales from the farmyard. Tales from the farmyard. Stop telling tales. So. Are you all sitting comfortably? Yeah. I need a cushion. Then I'll begin. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a farmer and his wife. Morris and Maggie MacDonald lived on their farm in a little village in the lush green fields of the English countryside. Now, you may have come across Morris MacDonald already because he's not normally called Morris MacDonald. He's known by another name. I wonder if you can guess what, what people normally call him. Donald. Hmm? Donald. Donald. They Jack. normally call him Old MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know a fellow called Old MacDonald? Yeah. At a farm, E-I-O. How does he yeah, go? Yeah. Old MacDonald <laughs> at a farm. <laughs> E I E I O, and on his farm he had a pig. I beg your pardon. That's some pork chops. Say, good, don't say that. Oh, there he is there. Say good morning, everyone, to Old Spot the Pig. Do you spot, oh, 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 spot the pig? Do you spot the pig? <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had... Lamb chops. Meh! Meh! Say hello to Daisy the sheep, everyone. Hello, Daisy! Meh! 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 Calm down, Daisy. Old MacDonald... 
<laughs> oh, dearing me. He's got all in his pocket. Do you know what? I, I wish, I wish we had a little bit more money, everyone, and then we could buy a great big house like Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Yeah. And I oh. could buy a new tractor. <sighs> in fact, I wish that real life was like it is in the storybooks. Like, like when you're walking along one day and you, you find a lantern in the mud and you picks it up and he gives it a little rub and a genie pops out and grants you three wishes. <laughs> or, or, or you're walking along and, and all of a sudden a little fairy appears next to you and grants you three wishes. Of course, that don't happen in real life, does it, everyone? No. No, no. and not. anyway, I haven't got a magic lantern. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes, I, I have got a bucket. I, I wonder, I wonder what would happen if I rubs this bucket. Shall I have a go, everyone? Yeah. yeah. Let's see, let's see. Nothing. <laughs> Let's give it another rub. <laughs> Definitely nothing happening. Let's give it one more rub. Oh, daring me, I knew there was nothing, nothing, no such thing as magic fairies, is there? No. Mm. No, not in real life anyway. Oh, never mind. Come on, little red hen, you have your breakfast. There you are. There you are. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, 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 It's a little fairy. Oh, nothing to be afraid of, Morris. She knows my name. Of course I know your name. You're Old MacDonald. And you're such a nice man that I grant you three wishes. Now do what you can. Oh, three wishes. My goodness. I could buy a big house. A tractor. A trailer. Or a little, a little brown mouse. <laughs> oh, 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 careful, Morris. You, you don't. You've only got three. You, you don't want to waste them. No, use them wisely. Oh yes, I'm not going to waste a wish. No, only a fool would waste a wish, wouldn't they, everyone? Yeah. 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 Yes. Anyway, oh, oh, she's gone. <laughs> yes, the little fairy had fluttered away back to Bluebell Meadow. Meanwhile, Morris could barely contain his excitement. Ho, ho, ho! Three wishes. I can't wait to tell Maggie the news. No, don't say anything, anyone. She's going to be so excited when she finds out. Morris, Morris, my dear. Yes? Have you finished feeding the little red hen now? Because the pig probably needs cleaning out. Never mind about the pig, my dear. Something really, really exciting has just happened. Oh, what's that then? Well, you're never going to believe it. She's not going to believe it, is she, everyone? No. Well, come on, what is it, Morris? Because I've got jobs to do. Well, I've just met a magic fairy and she granted me three wishes. Oh, Morris, you're having me on. I'm not having you on. He's having me on, isn't he, everyone? Yes. No. No? No, no it's true, my dear. Oh, you really met a magic fairy? I did, my dear, and we got three wishes. Oh, Morris! Morris! All our troubles are over. We could buy a great big house like Mr. and Mrs. Jones. That's right, my dear. And you could get you could get a new tractor better than Mr. Jones. I know, my dear. Oh, Morris! Yes, I could get a gold egg whisk. What on earth do you want a gold egg whisk for? <coughs> I don't, but I could, couldn't I? Well, you could, but that would be a waste of a wish, wouldn't it, everyone? Yes. Oh, no, you're right, Morris. No, we don't want to waste our wishes. No, we've only got three. I suggest, I suggest we talk about the wishes sensibly and calmly over lunch. Well, that's a good idea, my dear. Well. I'll go and make it and you lay the table. Oh, no need, Morris. 
I've already prepared lunch. Now, you lay the table and I'll go and get it. <laughs> All right, dear. Go on, use the best tablecloth, Morris. Oh, do you mean the purple one? That's the one, Morris. <laughs> All right. <laughs> right, well, let's see. <clears throat> for lunch today, though. What is for lunch, my dear? Oh, nothing special, Morrison. Just yesterday's leftovers. Yesterday's left. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, dear, no. No. Not those old sprouts. Oh, <laughs> it's all right, Morris. I've, I've got some old gravy to pour over them. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, dearie me, old gravy and old sprout. That doesn't sound very appetising, does it, everyone? No. 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 Oh, I know what. I know what I'd like to eat right now. Oh, shall I tell you what I'd like to eat right now? Yeah. I'd like to eat a fine fat sausage. Oh, oh. I can almost see it now. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I wish. I wish, I wish I had a fine fat sausage to eat. Ping! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, Morris has got himself into a right pickle, hasn't he? Yeah. He's already wasted one of the wishes. Maggie's not going to be very happy when she sees this sausage. What? What do you think Morris should do with this sausage? Hide it. Hide it. Hide it or eat it. I'd eat it. Oh, that's a good idea. Eat the evidence. Yes. Our sausage sandwich. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's a very tasty sausage. Mm. Honey mustard. Mm. <laughs> Morris, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Morris, Morris, what are you doing lying on the table like that? Get up. No, it's all right, my dear. I'm quite comfortable here. <laughs> Morris, get up! <laughs> Mor Morris, what's this here? Uh, oh, it looks like um, Turd. looks like a sausage <laughs> to me. <laughs> well, what's it doing here, Morris? I don't know, my dear. Did you put it there? <laughs> of course, I didn't put it there. I wouldn't be asking, would I? Oh, I don't know. Uh, did you bring the sprouts and gravy, my dear? Never mind about the sprouts and gravy. I wants to know what this sausage is doing here. <laughs> oh, I don't know, my dear. <laughs> well, it didn't just appear here by magic, now, did it? <laughs> um, no. Um, Morris? Yes, my dear? Oh, Morris? Yes? <laughs> you haven't done what I think you've done, have you, my dear? <laughs> I might have done, Maggie. Oh, Morris, no. he hasn't wasted one of our wishes on this sausage, has he, everyone? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Morris, no. Morris MacDonald, you are such a fool. Don't you call me a fool. Who oh, don't call you a fool. Well, what do you call a man, everyone, a who fool. wastes a precious wish on a silly old sausage? A fool. Exactly, a fool. you're a fool, yeah. Morris MacDonald. Yeah. You've always been a fool. And no doubt you will always be a fool. Stop calling me a fool. <laughs> fool! Oh, I wish this sausage was stuck to the end of your nose. <laughs> oh, no! Now look what you've done, Morris. Oh, no. Oh, 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 don't worry, Maggie. What do you mean, don't worry? Don't worry, because we've still got one more wish left. Don't you go wasting it, Morris. No, 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 I won't, Maggie, no. No, let's think, oh, I know. Yes, Morris? Cut it off. Why don't we wish <laughs> for all the gold in the kingdom? All the gold in the kingdom? And what use is that with this silly old sausage stuck to the end of my nose? <laughs> I'll never be able to show my, my face in public again, Morris MacDonald. Well, what do you suggest we do? Well, there's only one thing for it now, isn't there? Oh, yes. What, a, a new tractor? No, Morris! <laughs> You've got to wish this sausage gone. All right, uh, I wish. <laughs> I don't really, though. <laughs> Morris! <laughs> All right, uh, I wish 
This sausage gone! Oh, get off! Oh, 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 thank goodness for that, Morris MacDonald. Oh, I'm sorry, Maggie. I have been such a fool. Well, I won't argue with that, Morris. But truth is, we've both been fools this morning, Morris. Have we? Well, yes, we have. Well, why is that? Why? Because there's nothing wrong with this little farmhouse we live in. It's a beautiful little farmhouse, everyone, and it's our home. Oh, well, I never said there was anything wrong with it. No, Morris, but you don't need a new tractor either. No, that's true. And we've got some lovely little animals on our farm, haven't we? Yeah. We have, Morris, but do you know what we've got most of all? What's that, Maggie? Well, we've got each other. Oh. oh, yes, we have. Come here, woman, give us a cuddle. Mm. <laughs> now, come on, let's go and eat our lunch. Oh, yes. Uh, good boy, everyone. See you later. <laughs> no. Uh, and now, what is for lunch today, Maggie? <laughs> I've already told you, Morris. It, it's sprouts and gravy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Morris! Sorry, Maggie. Yeah, sprouts and gravy. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> well, Morris and Maggie went off for their lunch. As they did, the sun came out. The birds were singing, the bees were buzzing, and out in the farmyard, the animals were getting on with their day. Now, Daisy the sheep was munching away at the green, green grass. Dave the duck was splish splashing around in the pond. And old Spot the pig and the little red hen were eating up the seeds that Morris had thrown out earlier, when all of a sudden, the little red hen had an idea. Oh, oh don't eat all the seeds, old Spot. <laughs> Why not, little red hen? Why not? Because I've, I've had an idea. <laughs> if we planted these seeds, we could grow some wheat and we could bake a tasty loaf of bread. Now, who will help me plant these seeds? Well, her friends, the animals, they thought that planting seeds was a little bit like hard work. So this, everybody, is what happened. Well, the little red hen had a plan one day to bake some tasty bread. She asked her friends if they would help. This is what they said. Not I, said the pig, not I, said the duck, not I, said taste the sheep. We'd rather just play around today, perhaps have a little sleep. La 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 Well, Spot the pig rolled in the mud Dave dived into the pond Daisy munched the green green grass And everyone sang along Not I, said the pig, not I Said the duck, not I Said pigs the sheep We'd rather just play around today Perhaps have a little sleep La 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 well, the little red hen said, are you sure you don't want to bake some bread? I'd really appreciate your help. What do you think they said? Yeah, not I, said the pig, not I, said the duck, not I, said they the sheep. We'd rather just play around today, perhaps have a little sleep. Said we'd rather just play around today, perhaps have a little sleep. Oh, oh, dearie me. Deary, deary me, said old Spot the pig. No, thank you. Planting seeds? You must be joking. <laughs> well, it seemed pretty clear to the little red hen that her friends won't, weren't going to help her. So she said, very well, I'll plant the seeds myself. And so she did. She picked up the seeds in her beak and she set off to find a nice fertile patch of ground to plant them in. First of all, 
she had a little look in the upper fields to see there was a nice patch of land there. Let's have a look. So she had a little look down here in the farmyard. Then she found just the right spot. When she did, she scratched around with her foot and she dug a little hole in the ground. And then she said, well, then she put the seeds into the hole and then she said, now listen up everyone. There's a very, very important job to do now. The seeds need watering twice a day, otherwise they won't grow. Now who will help me water the seeds? And her friend said, Not I. Exactly, let's try that again. Who will help me water the seeds? Not I. Very well, I'll water them myself. So she did. She got her watering can. Here it is. And as the sun shone down from the blue, blue sky, the little red hen watered the ground. And as she did, a little green shoot appeared. And it grew, and it grew, and it grew. And as the sun, as the sun shone, it ripened, and it turned a lovely golden colour. And soon enough, it was time to cut the wheat and take it to the mill. So the little red hen said, who will help me cut the wheat and take it to the mill? And the animal said, no. Very well, I'll cut the wheat and take it to the mill myself. So she did, she snipped the wheat at the bottom and she took the wheat to the mill. Now, the miller's name is Otis. And to be honest, he's probably having a little sleep at this time of day. So I'm just going to go and wake him up. Otis! Otis! Oh, can you help me call him, everyone, please? Otis! Otis! Otis. 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 What's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dear, oh, hello, little red hen. Oh, is, is this wait for me, everyone? Yeah. yeah. Well, do, you, do you want me to make some flour out of this? Yeah. 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 Well, it's not very much there, is there? No, no, no. no not, not enough to go in the mill. I'll tell you what. Let's put it in this bowl down here, little red hen. Let's grind it up in here. Now, how does it go? How do you... How do you oh, I, I've remembered. Yes, yes. This is how you do it. This is the way you grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. This is the way you grind the wheat. Early in the morning. You're not singing loud enough. <laughs> Try it again. We're not singing. This is the way you grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. This is the way you grind the wheat. Early in the morning. This is the way you grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. Grind the wheat. This is the way you grind the wheat. Early in the morning. That's done it. Now we just need a little bag to put it in. Now. Let's see, I don't know if I've got a bag small enough. Let me have a look down here. Ah, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I've got ears for them. Yep. <laughs> here we go, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you have to do now, let's tie this little bag of flour around your neck. Little red hen. What you have to do is you have to take this bag of flour to Mr. Bun the Baker. Mr. Bun. <laughs> I said bun, not bum. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows Mr. Bun? Do you know Bun the Bakers? <laughs> Put your hands up if you know where Bun the Bakers is. In the baker. Well, I, you don't know where it is, do you? Let me tell Do you know Green Lane, everyone? No. no. Down there. Down there. You walk to the bottom of Green Lane and there's a little yeah. gate in there. You have to hop over the gate and there's a... Do you know the stream? Yeah. yeah. Hop over the stream. 
shouldn't be too deep at this time of year. And then he walks right to the very top of the hill. And at the top of the hill is an oak tree. Do you know the oak tree, everyone? Yeah. Yeah. Climb to the very top of the oak tree, yeah. and you should see the post office. Yeah. It's a red Aww. building. Yeah. Next to the post office, what do you think it is? From the baker. Bum the exactly. Bum the so. so <laughs> <laughs> red end, I suggest. Can you stop laughing, please? <laughs> no laughing in my shows. <laughs> no, little red hen, it's quite a long way, so you might need to ask your friends. But I'm going to go back to bed now, everyone. Hearing me. No, my oats. So, yes. no, my, my oats. Good night, everyone. Good night. Oats. oats in more. <laughs> Overnight oats. <laughs> well, Otis the Miller went back to bed. Meanwhile, the little red hen asked her friends if they could help her carry the flour to bun the bakers, but her friend said, No, no I. I. Very well, I'll go to the bakery on my own. Now, who remembers which way it is to the bakery? Over the stream. Over the stream? <laughs> How do I get to the stream, though? <laughs> Come on. Didn't he say something about Green Lane? Yeah. yeah. I'm walking down Green Lane here. Who, who's it? Hello. Hello there. Oh, hang on, there's a gate here. Yeah, shall I? What shall I do? Jump, jump over the gate. Uh, there we go. Ah. Ah. Oh, hang on, there's a hill. Oh, oh, here's a stream. What shall I do with the stream? Swim. Swim. I don't swim. Don't swim. Don't swim. Don't swim. Hold on, there's, there's a hill and there's a... Oh, there's a there's tree. A hill. Oh, oh hang on. John. Hang on, I can see a red building. What was that? That's a bakery. Oh, it's Bum the Baker. Oh, all right, it's just the bakery. Hang on, Bum the Bakery. Oh, you're right, it's Bum the Baker's name. Well, let's see if Bum the Baker is in. Mr. Bum. Mr. Bum. I'm going to Mr. Bum. You're not a joker, you. No, my mistake, no. Get a little red hen. Hey, what do you want me to do with... Uh, shall I make this flour into bread, everyone? Yes, yes Mr. Bun. Yeah. There's like. not very much flour. You're not going to get a very... You're not going to get a very big loaf of bread out of this. I'll do my best. No. Let's uh, pour it onto the workshop here. Bread. Put a little bit of water in it and mix it up and uh, how does it go everyone? This is the way we need the bread, need the bread, need the bread. This is the way we need the bread, early in the morning. I think that's done. We, we need to put the dough into, into a, a bread tin. Let me see if I've got a bread tin. <laughs> now let's put it in oven. Oh God! Let's uh, <laughs> there we are. <laughs> oh, do you like bacon, everyone? Yes. Oh, aye. Yes. I tell you, put your hands up if you've baked bread before. Oh aye. Almost. Oh, what about? Do you really? Oh, I wonder if it's going to be as nice as the bread I'm baking now. <laughs> what about what about cakes? Do you like baking cakes? Yeah. Oh, I like baking cakes as well. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I think it's ready. Let me, let me just see. Could be good. Oh, it is. Oh, oh my goodness, cake. <laughs> Can you smell that fresh baked bread? Yeah, it smells burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, everyone. <laughs> Look at that. Bread. Now all you've got to do, I'll put that on there, little red hen. What you've got to do 
is take it back to your friends in farmyard and you can eat it all together. So, goodbye everyone. Bye Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Bye. <laughs> well, Bum the Baker went on oh. his way and as he did, the lovely aroma of fresh baked bread filled every corner of the farmyard. And Spot the Pig and Dave the Duck and Daisy sniffed the air. Their tummies rumbled as they smelled fresh bread everywhere. And the little red hen, she asked aloud, who'll help me eat this bread? Well, all the animals gathered round. What do you think they said? I will. I will, said the pig. Oh, no, you I won't. will, said the duck. I will, said Daisy the sheep. I'm feeling a little bit hungry now. Can I have some bread to eat? No. And the little red hen said... It's all mine. No, no you cannot. I made the bread with a little bit of help from Bun the Baker and Otis the Miller. But meanwhile, you three did absolutely nothing. nothing. So, the little red hen, she ate that bread. Until it was all gone into her tummy. And then she said, next time I, I need some help, do your share of the work and earn your share of the bread. Yes. It's the fair thing to do, isn't it, everyone? Yes. yes. And so, that's what happened. The next time the little red hen was baking bread, all of her friends helped. And when it was time to take the bread out of the oven, they all enjoyed sharing in eating the bread. Yeah. yeah. Now, by this time, it was getting quite late in the farmyard and it was actually getting cold. a little bit cold. So the animals knew it was time to be going in for the evening. So, Daisy the sheep went in first. Let's say goodnight to Daisy, everyone. Hi, Daisy. Meh, meh, meh. And Spot the pig. Went next. Good night, good night. Good night, Spot. Hang on, hang on. Daisy, you've gone in the wrong one. Oh, no. Come on, Daisy. <laughs> Hear me. Meh. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Come on, Spot. Come on up here. Can you spot, spot, Spot? Come on, on Spot. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and who do you think went in next, everyone? <laughs> Dave the Duck. Dave it was the, the Duck. duck. So, say goodnight to Dave the Duck. Night, Dave, Dave. 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 And last but not least, little red hen. Little red hen. Now, they all went in for the evening, but they didn't go to bed yet because there's still a few hours until bedtime. So let's see how they spent their evening. <laughs> 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 so, Dave the duck, he had a nice hot bath after swimming around in that muddy pond all day. And, um, and old Spot the pig, he sat down and he watched his favourite television programme. Do you know what that is? Emmerdale. No, not Emmerdale. Pepper pig. <laughs> Daisy the sheep, she sat down, she, she did a little bit of knitting, nice relaxing knitting, and the little red hen who had worked so hard that day, she sat down, she made herself a nice hot drink of chocolate. And then everybody, night fell. The moon came out. And out on the hills walked a cold and very hungry wolf. Oh. Oh. Would you like to meet the wolf, everyone? Yes. yes. See you like a wolf. I <laughs> 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 
<laughs> it's front and roof. <laughs> That looks like Chris Evans. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Deary me. Oh dear. Oh, I've walked so far. Oh. Ah. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> I'm a big brown wolf, I've had my day. My teeth have fallen out and my hair is grey. My eyes are dim, I'm feeling weak. I'm tired, I'm hungry and my bones all creak. And there's a rumble and a grumble in my tumble all night long. I'm tired. And I'm hungry, but I'm still singing my song. Ow! Now once upon a time, I was lean and mean. Tall and handsome, and very, very keen. I'd sleep all day, I'd hunt all night. When all the creatures of the neighborhood would jump up in fright, cause there's a rumble. And a grumble in my tumble all night long. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm hungry, but I'm still singing my song. Ow! <laughs> now I can see a light on in the hen house up ahead. It's time to eat my dinner. It's time that I was fed. Yes, I think I see a light on. I wonder if she's home. Perhaps she likes some company. Don't wanna be alone, cause there's a rumble and a grumble in my tumble all night long. I'm tired and I'm hungry, but I'm still singing my song. I'm tired and I'm hungry. And I'm still singing my song. <laughs> Ow. I'm tired and I'm hungry. But I'm still singing my song. 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 <laughs> Ow. <laughs> to eat. Let me see what I can have. Ah. Well, this looks like a nice place to eat. Now, by chance, the wolf had arrived at Old MacDonald's farm. Just behind, just behind the farmhouse was a little courtyard, and in the courtyard was a bench. Let's get the bench. There's the bench. Come and sit down, old wolf. There you are. Always drunk. It's <laughs> <laughs> a bit thin. I'll tell you what, look, just sit down there for a minute. <laughs> this, what's wrong with you? Thank you. Along with the bench were some hay bales. There was one, 
two hay bales. There was there was a tree stump. And last but not least, there was a fire pit. Ooh. And when the wolf saw the fire pit, because he was so cold, what do you think he did? Light the fire. He light did. Fire. Lit the fire. So let's light the fire. Oh, ow, oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> Lit the fire. And then he sat there a few minutes, because he'd walked a very long way, and he was quite old, so he was quite tired. And he warmed himself around the fire. Let's all warm ourselves around the fire, everyone. Now, when the wolf, when the wolf was nice and rested and warm, he went to get his dinner. Where do you think he went, everyone? Did that to the barn. Barn. Exactly, but specifically to the. Hen house. Hen house. Oh. He walked up to the hen house door For his KFC. and he knocked. <laughs> now, do you remember what the hen was doing the last time we saw her? Having a cup of hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. And she was having a hot chocolate. Eating the crawl. And, sorry? Eating the crawl. She was having some, some hot chocolate. Eating the crawl. Eating the crop. Eating the crop. Bread. Oh, the bread. Yeah. Bread. Yeah. She, she, yeah, she would eat, eat some bread, but she was having a hot chocolate. And she wasn't expecting any visitors that night. So when she heard the wolf knock on the door, she was a bit annoyed and she said, Oh, yes, who is it now? And the wolf said, I'm very, very sorry to disturb you. <laughs> it's only me, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf? What, 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 what do you want? <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. I'm very old and all of my teeth have fallen out, so oh. I couldn't eat you, even if I wanted to. No, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I've taken the liberty of lighting a fire in the courtyard. I just wondered if you'd like to join me for a bowl of stone soup. Uh, could you bring your biggest cooking pot, please? <laughs> cooking pot? What, 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 what do you want that for? Chicken stew. Well, I can't. <laughs> I can't make soup. I can't make soup without a pot, can I, everyone? No. No, no I can't. This is what I need to do. In my bag here, I have a stone. I simply need to put the stone in a pot of water uh, on the fire and wait. I'll be in the courtyard when you're ready. <laughs> Well, the little red hen, as you can imagine, was very, very alarmed. Yeah. She had heard all sorts of stories about wolves over the years, and none of them had ended very well. Then again, she was curious. She'd never actually seen a real wolf. She'd certainly never met one. And for all she knew, all the stories that she had heard could just be nonsense. Besides, she rather fancied a bowl of stone soup. Yeah. So, very gingerly, she stepped out into the courtyard and she brought with her the biggest cooking pot she could find. Here it is. And she placed the cooking put pot on the fire. And then she said, no, no, you're... You, 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 you're not going to eat me, are you, Mr. Wolf? <laughs> Let me just stand up properly. <laughs> I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> you can tell it is. No, I, I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> but we do need some water in the pot, don't we, everyone? Yes. yes. So the little red hen, she went back home and she got 
a jug and she filled it up full of water. Here it is. And then she poured the water into the pot. I think that's enough, isn't it? A bit more. A bit more, you think? Yeah. I don't want to overfill it. Then, the wolf, he got the stone out of his bag. There's the stone, look, everyone. And he placed the stone in the pot and then went in his bag again and he got some salt and he got some pepper, put that in as well. Now all the time that the wolf was, was doing this, the little red hen was watching him very curiously. She was thinking, just a, a pot full of water and a stone and salt and pepper. That doesn't sound very tasty, does it, everyone? No. I usually put carrots in it when I make soup. And the wolf said, hey, hey, hey. we could put some carrots in as well. So the little red hen, she went off and she got, she got some carrots. There they are. And she chopped the carrots up and she put those in the pot as well. Now... The wolf's arrival in the farmyard had not gone unnoticed. Do you remember what the pig was doing the last time we saw him? Watching his favourite program. Which was what? Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig, that's right, he was watching Peppa Pig. He was watching Peppa Pig when he heard voices outside of his window, which was very, very unusual at that time of night. So, he climbed up off the sofa and he walked to the window and pulled back the curtain. <laughs> oh! A, a, a wolf! Oh no, the little red hen is in danger! Well, the old spot, the pig, he, he plucked up his courage and he trotted out into the courtyard and he stood by the hen house door and he said, Is everything all right, little red hen? Do you, do you need some help? Well, the little red hen, she reassured old Spot the pig that everything was absolutely fine. He was a very old wolf. And besides, they were just making some stone soup. <laughs> well, old Spot wasn't quite convinced that there was nothing wrong because he'd heard all sorts of stories about wolves. In fact, he'd had a run-in with a wolf himself when he was a little piglet, when he was out walking with his brother and sister. You might have heard about that story before. Mm. Yeah. Three little piglets. That might be the one, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but he had had stone soup himself before. But they'd put courgettes in it. So he went home and he got some courgettes. In Stand up. <laughs> Sit down on me. And... He <laughs> 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 got some courgette and he chopped the courgette up and put it in the pot. When he got back, Daisy the sheep had arrived. Meh! And along with Daisy the sheep, who was it? Dave the duck. Dave, Dave the duck. Dave the duck. And they, they had also brought some vegetables with them. Dave the duck had brought, do you know what this is everyone? Sorry? It's not a potato. It's an, it's an onion, that's right. A red it's onion. a red onion. She chopped it up and put that in the pot. And Daisy the sheep, she brought some broccoli. Broccoli. She chopped that up and put it in the pot as well. And as the soup began to simmer, all of the animals, they swapped jokes and stories and they had 
a high old time. They had a high old time. The next time they looked in the pot, they realised that there was more soup than they'd ever be able to eat. So, who do you think they invited? The to farmer. Help? To help? Farmer. Sorry? The Thank farmer. You. Exactly. Old MacDonald and his wife. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, hello everyone! Hello. Ooh! Ooh, Morris! Morris, come and have a look at this. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Oh, it's better than all the sprouts and gravy by the smells of it. Oh, oh it does smell good. <laughs> well, the wolf looked around at everyone. Now they were all assembled and realised that the time had finally come. He licked his lips. <laughs> the group fell silent as the wolf put his hand into his bag and very slowly drew out a long, sharp, pointy knife. Psh! Ow! A shiver ran down everybody's spine as the wolf leaned in and poked the vegetables. <laughs> Is he vegetarian? I think, I think the soup is ready, everyone. And it was. So the wolf, the wolf served everybody a nice bowl of hot stone soup. And they all agreed it was the finest bowl of soup they'd ever tasted. Well, one cold starry night, Came a knocking at the door. A great big furry paw. <laughs> with a great big furry paw. <laughs> Open up, let me in, put the kettle on. It's stone soup all the way forevermore. Now the pig was quite alarmed when the stranger came to town. He trotted to the hen house, put his courgette down. <laughs> Is everything all right? He shouted from the door. Stone soup all the way forevermore. Now a bowl for your best friend, bowl for your love. For the sun, the sea, the mountains and the stars above, yes. A bowl for your neighbour, a bowl for your mum. A bowl for you and me and everyone, everyone. Now the duck, she knows her onions and the sheep, she knows her greens. Broccoli and cabbage, Bees and runner beans. The wolf, he knows his stone soup, and he's standing at your door. Stone soup all the way forevermore. Now, old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. And on his farm, I think you know now how the story goes. Happy ever after ends this episode. But before you go, there's time enough for one more. The road. Clap along, everyone. Well, a bowl for your best friend and a bowl for your life. For the sun, the sea, and the mountains and the stars above. Yes, a bowl for your neighbour, a bowl for your mum. A bowl for you and me and everyone, everyone. Well, a bowl for your best friend, a bowl for your love. For the sun, the sea, and the mountains and the stars above, yes. A bowl for your neighbour, a bowl for your mum. A bowl for you and me and everyone, everyone, everyone. La 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 la. Yes, it's come to all the way, forevermore. Fabulous audience, as you always are at Butterfly Garden. So, if you'd like to come and meet the puppets, um, you're very welcome. Um, please keep your fingers away from the wolf's mouth. Although he said he's old, he's, he does bite sometimes.